Welcome to PikaPods.com, a place where you can run the finest open source web apps from just $1 per month. Under View Available Apps, you will find over 60 apps you can deploy immediately. These apps are fully managed and you don't need servers to administer them. And you can use your own domain. When you find the app you like, click on Run Your Own and you can create an account to use it. And in this video, I will be showcasing PhotoPRISM, an AI powered app for sharing your photo collection. I already have the app in my pods collection and I'm just gonna click on open pod. PhotoPRISM is an AI powered app for browsing, organizing and sharing your photo collection. It uses the latest technologies to tag and find pictures automatically without getting in your way. You can run it at home, on a private server, or in the cloud. You can see there are many photos already uploaded here. Primarily photos of nature and some animals. And each photo has the date, camera setup, size, and location. At the top, there's a search bar. And if you type in Berlin, for example, the app will filter all photos taken in Berlin and those of Berlin. Search shows all the images and videos that are not in review or archived or private. If you type in people in a search bar, the app will recognize all photos with people on it. When you click on the left side menu, you will see different search filters such as monochrome, panoramas, animated, scans, vectors, and so on. There is another filter and you can click on the arrow at the upper right and it lets you filter by countries, camera or device, years, months, and even colors. The app also has other filters and categories and your library is nicely organized. You can search for videos only, show photos by calendar date or month, filter on your favorite photos, and you can sort by places. You see that your pictures are automatically classified based on their content and location. Let's try to upload some of the photos and organize them in our app. In the upper menu at the far right, you will see a cloud icon. Click on it and start uploading your photos. I have photos of various locations that I want to upload and those were taken in the last couple of months. I will click on upload and I will select few of my photos. And there we go. My photos immediately showed on the first page. So I have these three images of Slovenia and Malta. And you see that I didn't have to do anything. The app immediately labeled all images, setting the date, camera, phone setting, the size, and the location. If you click on a photo, you can easily edit it. Click on a pen icon in the upper menu and you can edit everything that you don't like. After you're done, you can click on apply and done. Those photos that we uploaded earlier are not in an album and you can easily add them to an album later. In the left menu, click on albums and you can click on a plus sign in the upper right or click on add album. This will automatically add a new album to your library. Click on your new album to edit the name, location, description, category, sorting settings, and you can immediately label your new album as favorite or private. I will add my images to this new album. Go back to search and select all the images that you want to add to this new album. Then click on a circle with the number on the right side of your screen. This will open a new selection for you. I will then click on a yellow icon, which is actually adding to an album button. A new pop-up will appear and I will select my new album name and I will click on add to album. If you go back to album selection, you will see your images nicely organized. You can add more images to this album directly. Just click on a cloud icon in the upper right and the process is the same as adding images to your general library. By clicking on a heart icon on each image, your photos will show up in the favorites category. Also, you can easily share your newly created album. 
If you're already in your album, just click on a share icon at the top next to the album name. This will create a unique link and you can copy that to the clipboard. You can also set the link expiration date. If you're sharing this with your friends, you can leave the link to never expires. Another way how you can share your album is to select it and then a circle will show up at the bottom of the screen. Click on that to open a selection of options and click on a purple icon, which is for sharing. Those are the basic features of PhotoPrism app. And there are plenty of other cool and useful features that we will be showcasing later in our videos. You can easily get access to PhotoPrism through PikaPods. When you register on PikaPods.com, you will get $5 free starting credit. Until next time, take care.